In this recording, I'm going to show you how I write the IPA symbols for the vowels of English by hand. Notice the size of each symbol compared to the others and to the line. Notice where the symbols touch and when they don't, and which symbols drop below the line, and the height of the symbols relative to one another. We'll start with E, as in bead. I'll write the symbol alone, and then in a word, and then I'll write the word in its English spelling in quotation marks. First is E, as in bead. Bead. Notice that this symbol is about half the height of the B and the D, and that it has to have a dot on it. The next one is I, as in bid. I. It looks like a capital letter I, but it's about half the height of a real capital letter I. Bid. Bid. It has to have the top and the bottom of it, so the symbol can't just look like this. The next sound is A, as in bake, bake, notice that there are two parts to this phoneme. They can be joined by the ligature beneath, and that the second part is the small uppercase I, the I sound, so it shouldn't look like this. The next sound is E, eh, as in bed. Bed. It looks a little like a backwards number three, but it's not as tall as a number three would be, and it's not a capital E either, so it shouldn't look like this, or this, or this. The next sound is ah, as in bad. The symbol can be tricky. It's a bit like writing a sideways figure eight, and the two halves should touch. So it's not this, and it's not this. However, it's acceptable to write an A and an E that are touching one another like that. But it's easier in the end if you learn how to make it as one continuous stroke. Bad. The next sound is oo, as in boot. Oo. Again, it's about half the size of the B and the T boot. I like to see it have the little vertical piece on the right rather than just looking like this. And it's not the full line size either. The next sound is U, as in book. Uh. This sound looks similar to the U, 
but it has these small horizontal wings on the side. Book. Again, the sound shouldn't be the size of a capital letter, or an uppercase letter. It should be about half the height of the line, so it should not be like this. And you don't need to make the wings curly like that. The next sound is O, as in boat. O. The sound again has two halves to it, and we can join them with the ligature. The word boat would look like this in IPA. Boat. Again, the two sides of the, the two symbols should not be touching each other. So in this case, they shouldn't touch and they shouldn't be the size of the whole line. The next sound is aw, like in the word law or the word bought in my dialect. This is the open O or the aw sound and law would look like this in IPA. The word is law. The sound is the one that sounds similar to the ah sound, but it's made by raising your jaw and rounding your lips a bit. The next sound is ah, as in dog. Ah dog, dog. This sound does not have a top on it like the typed A, so it should not look like this, and it shouldn't be taking up the whole line.